guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's Back With Me video. That's right, we are headed back to the magic. We are headed to Walt Disney World and Disneyland and I cannot wait to take you along with me. We leave in three days. Yep, we leave in three days. Today is August 26th, Monday. We leave on Thursday at 5 p.m. Technically 3 p.m. Flight leaves at 5 p.m. So I better be ready to go at 3 p.m. when my mama is picking us up. So you're probably wondering, Nikki, you are three days away from your trip. I have watched your pack with me videos before. If you have another link down below, you probably are packed ready to go. I am not. I am, but I'm not. And I'm gonna show you what I have done that has just completely transformed my packing. And I am not stressed out about it. Am I a little stressed out about it? Yes. But am I, am I a little stressed out about everything in life? Yes. So <laughs> we're just gonna give or take that. However, very excited to take you along. Very excited for this very exciting adventure we are about to embark on. And I cannot wait to share it with you. So first off, big thumbs up subscribe to the channel because like I said we have so much so much fun coming and I cannot wait to do it with you okay let's dive in to the details let's get started for a really long time like years I could probably say I have been wanting to put together like the perfect outfit planning um template for you the perfect pack with me list not pack with me packing list for you and for myself honestly and i finally decided you know what we're just gonna go for it we're gonna do it but i wanted to make it very simple and easy and i've done it i've done it at least for myself and it's on my etsy shop link down below and thank you for purchasing it if you go ahead and purchase it it helps support me and my channel and i just really really appreciate that so step one i'm going to show you what it looks like so it is the disney world outfit planning and like you can see and i'm going to flip you over totally and chat through it it is so bare bones that you can literally make it whatever you want there's not a lot of hoopty doopy going on and it really allows you to create it however you want and what's going to work best for you and your family. All right, so I'm going to flip you around and I'm going to show you what it looks like without anything on it and then how I used it. All right, so here it is, just totally plain Jane, and this is the Disney World outfit planning. So I have a Disneyland and DCA, and then I also have a Disney Cruise Line one coming very soon. So I have each of the park icons, and then just on the first day, I also have a little plain guy. Because if you're like me, you will plan your travel day outfit you're not gonna plan on what you're wearing at home. You're just gonna throw on a new fun shirt you bought. Um, and probably some leggings or some shorts. So I put 10 days on here. However, if you needed 12 days or five days, then you don't use this side. Um, you can always print off more. The packing list, and I plan on adding more to give you the availability to fill out whatever you feel fit. And so I put like sneakers, enough to switch every other day. Like a lot of people might not know that. Have some sandals. And then I just like to put pajamas because everyone needs a good set of a PJs. A portable fan. And then like park essentials, so like things that I put in my park bag. Um, toiletries, like don't forget a first aid kit or sunscreen, deodorant, medicines, like different things like that. So if you have any ideas of things I could add on here, definitely let me know. Um, but I wanted to make it really customizable for you and your family. So how, so now you're wondering like, well, how are you using it? So for myself, and I'm trying to find my outfit planning one. Here we go. So like I have our travel day and I didn't, when I printed this off, I didn't have a plane and I was like, I need an airplane right here. So I just put the date, our travel day, and then I know, okay, so we're gonna go to Animal Kingdom this day and then we're gonna have a pool day. So I could like split those two up. 
and then on this day we're going to Epcot and then we're also going to dinner this day which is Tops Toblinos and then we have our day at Hollywood Studios and then we have our Magic Kingdom day and then I am traveling to Disneyland and so I didn't add a plane on this one but it's on there now um the Disneyland one in DCA isn't on my Etsy shop let me know if that interests you I'm not sure how many people travel to Disneyland um but I did want to get the Walt Disney World up one for sure so I have Disneyland and DCA so then like I'm still trying to up, up in the air on what I'm gonna wear in Disneyland just for the fact that like I might want to wear one of my race shirts one of my race shirts that I get at the expo or you get a shirt as like a, like a runner shirt. Um, so I might wear those. I have my costumes and then like half marathon and then we're going to go to the Plaza Inn and then we travel home. So very customizable, very open and I'm just so excited about this. So the reason I'm not stressed out is because so the main reason I am not packed yet is because I am packed. I have all of my items listed out of everything that I need and that I need to take on our trip with us. So that is a big reason. So the big reason I'm not packed yet is because I am packed. I have all of my stuff listed out. I don't feel like I need to put everything out to plan out all of my outfits while I'm packing because I'm already packed. Granted, again, I'm a little stressed out because my myself is telling me you don't need to pack yet because you already know what you're packing and this is really going to help me not overpack. I'm not really much an overpacker anymore like I used to be because I wear every single outfit. Some people might be like oh she overpacks because she brings an outfit for every single day but that's not overpacking that's just wearing clean clothes every single day. Um, overpacking is having three outfits for every single day because you don't know which one you want to wear. We don't have to do that anymore because we have our packing list, our outfit planner, and I am just really excited about this because it was really taking like the stress off of me of having to plan my outfits. Um, so right now I do have a couple of things pulled. I have all of my costumes pulled and I have a couple of like items I've purchased that I want to wear on the trip. Those are also pulled, AKA sitting on the floor behind me at this moment. I'm not sure how far I'll get today. I probably won't get far at all. Um, but I did want to just start this video off, show you how we're doing and that we're going to Walt Disney World and I'm so excited. It's crazy. We're going back. And this means that Run Disney season is officially started. I believe by the time you watch this video, I have completed my first Disneyland weekend, which is like so exciting. I have been training so hard and I ran 12 and a half miles on Sunday, yesterday. And I'm feeling good today. It's hard to, I'm trying to stay in the moment of it all. Um, Cause I know it's gonna be over in a flash, but I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of my mind and my body. It was a hard run on Sunday. Um, mentally, I just really wasn't there. I, it was hot, Ooh, so freaking hot. It was like a hundred degrees yesterday and today. And I even ran in the morning and it was still so freaking hot. Um, but I just like really wasn't in it mentally yesterday. It's also almost that time of the month. And whenever I'm around my period, I'm just like zero motivation and I'm really tired beforehand. And so I know that it's going to be okay and I'm going to get through it and that I can do it. I've ran many half marathons before. That's the longest run for this upcoming weekend. And it kind of worries me sometimes when I think about like, oh, guess what? You get to run the half marathon and then I would have had to do a marathon today. But I have to stop doing that to myself because that's not where I'm at in my training right now. Phase one is pretty much complete. And I have one more run on Wednesday to do. I have tomorrow off and then I have one run on Wednesday. Technically it's Tuesday, Thursday. But since we're leaving Thursday, I just like didn't want to mess with it. So I'm going to run on tomorrow, nope, not tomorrow, tomorrow, Tuesday, on Wednesday for my last 45 minute run before the weekend because then we'll be in Disney World and then the hotel I'm staying at in Disneyland doesn't have a fitness center which is like totally fine because I'm going to be working during the day and then heading to the parks 
later at night so I'll still get like my movement in and I'm fully confident in myself that I am prepared. I have never trained like this before. I trained for the 10K fine even for the half marathon in january that i ran technically it ended up being a half half because of the rain and the storm but i trained pretty good up until december december it just got like cold it, we got really long runs in and i was like yeah i ain't doing that so this was the first time that I had stuck to every single run pretty much. I think I've maybe missed one, maybe, not in the month of August or July, maybe in June or like at the beginning of May. I can't even remember if I did or not. But I am just super proud of myself that I've gotten this far and phase one, is almost done and now we're gonna head into phase two and phase two means training for wine and dine but more importantly we're, we're we're gearing up and we're training for dopey so we're ready to go I'm going to be a dopey runner I am going to do a five a ten half and a full in one weekend and I cannot tell you how excited I am to do it I can't wait I'm so excited and I think just this upcoming weekend it's gonna like solidify how excited I am. I'm so excited to run at Disneyland. I'm so excited to see my friends. And it's just gonna be a great time. It's gonna be so much fun. And I'm so grateful that I get to take you along with me. So again, make sure you subscribe to that channel. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram too because granted, this is besides the point because it's already gonna happen. But I should save a highlight for Disneyland. But I share like in real time over there. So make sure you're definitely following me over on Instagram. And we're going to have a great time together. And it's going to be a joy. I'm so excited. Am I excited? Can I say it one more time? I am like so excited. Okay, here's a quick overview of everything I just grabbed in our kitchen. So I am taking my... A Walla water bottle and they're coming out with the Pocahontas one can't wait and then this is my like run Disney water bottle and my sticker is coming off that's not fun push those back on so this is like my run Disney water bottle and I have like my different cool focus for us okay here we go so I have my different like Disney run Disney um, stickers on it and then I've been doing one for like each race weekend. So that was the Disney Halloween weekend when I did. And then my mom got me these cute Mickey Mouse goldfish. Then I have like my collagen and vitamins and Zyrtex in there. And then I am having my fuel for my runs. I have a couple of more that are already upstairs. Some liquid IVs. I threw some bars in here. I am doing a grocery order so I'm not gonna bring too much food. And then I have my hydro pack. And then I have my vest as well. So we're going to take all this upstairs. Get it packed in my snack pack. And phase one. Phase one, y'all. Okay, so we are going to move all of our clothes upstairs, downstairs, in our like living room. This is where my two new gold shelves are. Because I just think it's going to be easier to get it all organized down here instead of upstairs. And then I can bring my suitcases in here as well so i watch you as you drive do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Stay here forever, forever. 
sleep You don't know I'm looking With you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Next day, got most of my outfits down here. I'll flip you around. As you can see, I have my ears, and then I brought some more bathing suits down too. I brought some more swimsuits down as well. But I'm going to move these and like lay them out by day. Because for some reason, like, I have written down, like, what ears I want. I just can't decide exactly which ones I want to bring. So, I'm going to lay everything out, decide which ears I'm going to take with each outfit. And then I probably will start putting them in their packing cubes. I do have a couple of other options upstairs that I might end up bringing. But right now, th this is what we got going for us. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up And we just sing along and I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment, can we stay here? Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I'll watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking with you everything is complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here together have escalated so I've gotten pretty much everything organized except my ear they still have to put it in the pouch I'm gonna just flip you around show you what we got going on but I need to bring up 
my suitcases and then determine where we're gonna go from there. Okay. Yikes. Okie dokes. We have Disney clothes and costumes for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Bras, underwear, socks right there. I'm not sure what bag I want to bring to the park, so I'm going to bring my mini. This one I'm getting patched at Stone and Clover in California, so I have to bring it with me. The patches are in there, so like that's kind of annoying, but I shouldn't have to bring it home because it sh they should just ship it back to me. And then my big pack pack I'm taking on the plane is going to be this guy. It has so many fun compartments. And since I have to take both computers, I just thought it would be best to take this one. Then I have all of my fanny packs. I don't know exactly which ones I'm going to bring at this moment. So I just brought, those are the ones I was like circulating currently at home. I'm not bringing those with me. And then I'm probably going to bring my Dooney and Burke. A DVC bag that I got during our last trip because I really like that. I'll use that for like dinner and then the fireworks cruise that we're doing. Pajamas, just a bunch of random, honestly, just a bunch of random stuff. Swimsuits. That packing cube is like full of extra shorts, leggings. I just don't know. I just don't know what I'm gonna need in California. I feel like weather-wise. And then, I know it's going to be warm, but still. Need to put my ears in there. That's just a bunch of random stuff. Those are all of my California clothes and costumes. And then the red Sony is running stuff. So hats, vests, all the things. Hydro pack is right there. So, when I just talked you through it, like it doesn't seem terrible. And I have all these bags for my shoes. And then my new Wemos are in there. And I think that... That's pretty much it. That's my friend's birthday present. Pillow blanket. I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring it. I hope so because there is nothing like using your own pillow. So we're going to see. We're going to try. We're going to try our best. But I'm going to go down and get our suitcases and go from there. So yeah. Wish me luck. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling I'm just loving I showed you but it kind of just all escalated because I needed to get it done and I was getting overwhelmed but I think I'm good I think we're okay okay I'm gonna flip you around show you what I got clothes are in that suitcase 
Then I have pouches, race stuff, extra clothes, bathroom stuff, shoes, all in here. And then I have my steamer, pens, headband, um, and then I think I'm going to bring, no, I'm not going to bring any like hair tools or anything because I never use them. Carry on, number one, ears, park stuff, shoes for inside the room, more ears under there. So like this is still like good amount of room in there. No like issues. New emos basketball jackson's going to take that home for me so i don't take to california and then this is my friend's birthday present so that won't be in here as well so like that's very positive for me at this moment and then i can like squeeze in pasquale probably will fit my blanket in here pillow definitely cannot come <laughs> and then this backpack holy smokes you guys i have seen this backpack so many different places and i finally like caved and got it because it was so cute and when i tell you it has one bajillion pockets so we have this pocket up front and then we have a pocket in here where i can fit two small pouches so those are like all my tampons and then this is like my cabin bag that i might need and i'll put like my airpods and stuff in there possibly and then i have this purse that has my wallet and everything in it this is going to go into one of my other suitcases. It's for like my Theragun. It's knockoff Theragun, but hey, it works. And then I have my snack bag in there way at the bottom. And then I'm going to put my lunch in here or like my dinner technically. And then my computers and all of my tech stuff is going to go on this side. So like, holy smokes. And then I have my water bowl on this side. You technically have another pocket in here i don't know if i would use this one maybe for your phone i'm not sure but wowzers i feel like we're doing really well and i'm like pretty confident now this is this this situation this bag situation is still making me a little nervous i know i won't have my backpack coming home and I just don't know what I want to do with it. I'm not taking my Dooney and Burke bag. I put that back. I put some ears back and just some like random clothes I know I don't need to take. So that helps like a lot actually. It did because I was like, where am I going to put this? And so I'm glad I put those things away. I really wanted to bring my Dooney and Burke bag because we're staying at two DVC resorts. But I'm really only going to use it for dinner Friday night and then for the fireworks cruise and I have my really cute Kate Spade crossbody that I bought at the outlet Where did I get that in Minnesota when we went for the gymnastics um, team trials? So I really wanted to use that because I haven't like gotten to really use it yet The backpack situation so I normally always like carry on my duffel if you've watched my previous pack with me is or I will take like one of my Sony Clover backpacks and just pack it and take that to the parks. Here's the thing though. We don't really have any super long park days besides Saturday. Saturday is when we are gonna go to Epcot and that will probably be our longest park day. Sunday in Hollywood Studios, we're not gonna be there super duper late because we're doing the fireworks cruise that evening. And we'll probably want to go back and change and get refreshed before we head over to the Grand Floridian. So, I'm thinking about just bringing my mini, and that should be fine, so I can bring my water bottle and some snacks. But, yeah, I'm going to have to bring that. So, I don't know. I might not bring, I really want to bring my Park and Beach fanny pack, because it's really cute. But realistically i don't know if i actually need it i know i'm going to bring it so i should just like get over it because it's going to happen i'm not going to not bring that one because that was like my newest one i'm just thinking about one the one technically i might not bring is my daisy one but for my epcot outfit it's like inspired by like the taylor swift look that she did in her fortnite videos like the purple fluffy skirt and then the white top and then i was going to do my 
purple fanny pack with my purple ears. I guess I could, my Park and Beach one though, like would look cute with that outfit too. And then I have like my mini backpack that I'm bringing. I probably will put Daisy back. We'll see, we'll see how, we'll see how she goes. I probably could stick her. I need, what I really need to do now I'm just rambling is this suitcase. I can't close it yet because it has all like my bathroom stuff in it. We don't leave tomorrow until three o'clock. So like, that's great. And I know I'll have time tomorrow to like obviously put my bathroom stuff in there. Like my other bathroom stuff, my big bathroom, large pouch is already in there. It's just my small travel one that I like put on my face wash and stuff, different things like that. Glasses I will need to throw in my bag. But I'm pretty like confident of where we're at currently. So I bought these really cute pants that I wanted to bring as like a swim cover up. I don't know, I still might do it. I haven't decided yet. And I also got my tattoo touched up today. So I need to bring tattoo band-aids as well in case we do go in the water. Biscuits. It's the next day, happy travel day. Oh my gosh. I don't know, I just feel like I'm still taking too many items. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to empty out, not empty out, but open up all my suitcases again. Just give everything like one more check. Make sure I'm not overpacking anything. And then we should truly be good to go from there. Um, yeah, that's, that's how I'm feeling at the moment. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna show you everything, how I packed it, because I don't believe I showed you that yet, because yesterday was just kind of a blur. Okay, okay. Suitcase number one has all of my running gear in here as my vest, hydro pouch, timer, um, different things like that park items in here fans claw clips different things like that this is my like theragun i have my steamer some towels i brought that i might want to carry one during my run umbrella headband hair thingy my bob um i got my tattoo touched up yesterday so i needed to bring like some of the band-aid things and then obviously like face wash extra shorts leggings shoes are under there makeup is under there with my sandals down below and then um yeah cosmetics i was like packing this and i'm like oh my gosh i should set these up like straight across and look how amazing they look i can't get that with one hand but doesn't that look so cute i love it Okay, open that. It's literally just all of my clothes, rain gear, everything is in here for both days. And it's at 44 pounds. I'm gonna move those into my carry-on. And then I literally took out my jean shorts and this dress because I'm bringing another pink dress for Disney World. That if I feel like I wanna wear a dress at Disneyland, I can just wear the pink one again. And now we're gonna open that one. So I think I'm gonna just end up keeping this one open for now. Um, so I might end up putting my laptops in here. They just get kind of heavy carrying them in my backpack. And so might end up doing that. I also have my blanket in here and that is taking up a lot of room, which technically I can carry that on. Um, so if needed on the way home. We can definitely carry that on, but yeah, everything else in here is pretty much needed. I guess I don't need need. Nice this side a little bit more. And then we can put the fanny packs right on top. It's crazy to think that 
I'm going to be doing a run Disney race this trip. It just doesn't seem real. You know? I don't know. It just doesn't seem. It just doesn't seem real. I probably should have put this in first, but hey, that's okay. They're going to fit anyway. Okay. So I might put one computer like across there, maybe. Probably. Okay. So we're going to keep this open. For now. Okay, and here is the Holy Grail backpack. So I'm gonna spit one computer back there. I haven't decided if I wanna take this fanny pack yet or not. I'm probably not going to. I have like a Walt shirt that I'm gonna wear. Casey? Casey, are you okay? It's getting, getting, a, little, getting a little dramatic over there. Ma'am, you all right? <laughs> I don't know what she is doing to herself. Girl needs a haircut though. Casey, do you need help? So yes, you okay now? You good? All right. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring this one or not. Probably not. We're gonna say no. We're gonna put it back. Um, but it has two like decently deep pockets here. And then I'll be able to slide like my, um, not my cosmetics, my electronic small, like flat pouch that I have. And then on this side, and there's another pocket that I have like my snacks and everything down there. It really is not any snacks. It's like my fuel for runs, liquid IVs, and then a couple of um, other like electrolyte things I've been drinking. And then my purse that I'm using at the airport is gonna go right in there on top with my jewels that I'm bringing. And then of course we need our trusty wear. So I'm actually just gonna stick that in here, that bow that I just snuck in there. And then I have my glasses. I'm actually gonna throw my glasses probably in here on this side. I didn't even open this side. So I had my blanket over here. So this is my friend's birthday present, so that'll be gone. A couple of extra hats. Um, I brought this one for like the pool, and then this one for my race possibly. New Wemos are in there. My basketball's gonna get dented. Oh no. Basketball's fixed it. Fixed it. -ed. So then, blanket will go back on top of here. And then we should be good. I'm just gonna go get all my electronics now and get that situated. All right guys, so we are all packed up, ready to go. Also just realized that my backpack has a trolley sleeve on it, so that is awesome. Super pumped about that. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching me do my pack with me video. I feel like I didn't share enough in this video, so I apologize about that. I definitely want to like go really in depth next time. I was just very overwhelmed this time. We just have like, I, we, I have so many things I needed to pack for and I could not forget. And I just like was really focused on that. So definitely subscribe to the channel because I will go in more in depth detail about what I'm packing, especially for Run Disney. Things that, like I just purchased for Run Disney too and like I wouldn't bring if I wasn't doing a Run Disney race. So I will for sure share more next time. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a magical rest of your day and I will see you real soon. Bye.